His name was Ido, the third son of the former king. Originally, it was a tradition to hand over the throne to the eldest son, but finally Ido was crowned because of his solid academic achievements and outstanding knowledge of politics. During the Joseon dynasty, people named kings after their death. So you may think, wasn't his name Sejong? But the fact is, kings are called by the names that people have given them after they die. So, king's real name was different from the name that we usually know these days. Now let's look about his achievements. As you know, he created Hangul, Korean own language. 2020 marks the 70th anniversary of the Republic of Korea becoming a UNESCO member. Hangul was registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in October 1997. Before Hangul was created, our ancestors wrote in Chinese characters. But it was too difficult to translate Korean into Chinese characters. It was difficult for people who are busy, don't have time to learn something. Of course, only the aristocrats used letters. King Sejong made Hangul, which anyone can learn and write easily. Because he felt sorry for the people's poor writing. But Hangul creation had a lot of difficulties from the start. Scholars strongly opposed the idea, saying creating characters different from China is not polite to serve a big country. King Sejong, Sejong the Great, however, did not budge and study with students until he couldn't open one eye. As a result, Hangul was finally created in 1443. Hangul was not created under the influence of other countries' letters, but was originally created after the shape of phonetic organs in the heaven and earth. In the case of consonants, it is modeled after the phonetic organs, so you can guess the sound of the letters by looking at the shape of the letters. In addition, the method of deriving characters of the same line by adding strokes to the basic characters is a very systematic and scientific method. The vowel is made by combining a, modeled after the round shape of the sky, u, modeled after the flat shape of the earth, and e, modeled after the shape of a person standing. For example, a is a combination of E and A. King Sejong also contributed greatly to culture development. He also made Samgang Hengshilto, which is the duty of the people. He organized the history book, The History of Korea. It's an excellent historical record. King Sejong revolutionized the Korean government by appointing people from different social classes as civil servants. Furthermore, 
he performed official government events, according to Confucianism, and he encouraged people to behave according to the teachings of Confucianism. As a result, it became the social norm of Korea at the time. He also published a book about it. It was established in the royal palace during the reign of King Sejong of the Joseon Dynasty. It was built in Korea Dynasty but it did not play a practical role. In 1420, King Sejong made it a practical academic research institute. Jipyeonjeon scholars helped create King Sejong's Hunmin Jeongun and contributed greatly to the development of culture during the reign of King Sejong by producing various books. King Sejong, the fourth king of the Joseon dynasty, thought that in order to carry out good politics above all else, we must nurture talented people and develop learning. As a result, Jipyeonjeon, a library from the Goda dynasty, was turned into an academic research institute and selected about 20 scholars to work. For scholars working at Jipyeonjeon, the most important tasks were to prepare for the contest, an academic debate between the king and officials, and the soyon, an education for the crown priest. Though this, scholars with expertise helped the king and the crown prince carry out the right politics. In addition, Jipendon scholars wrote diplomatic documents, became test takers for past tests, or participated in the compilations of the annals. Hun Min Tongum means the correct sound for educating the people. This period has also seen great progress in science and technology. The development of astronomical observatory and observation machine is considered one of these aspects. In the early Joseon dynasty, two medical schools were installed in Seoul Onkwan to observe the celestial gates, but this was not enough. Along with the large scale production of the Tun Mun Sang, which began in the 40th year of King Sejong's reign, a stone chamber bridge measuring 6.3 meters high, 9.1 meter long, and 6.6 .6 meters wide was completed in the 60th year of King Sejong's reign. In addition, the medical school was equipped with Hun Chun Yi, Hun Sang which were designated as defense. Since March 20, the 20th years of King Sejong's reign, officials of Seoul Won Gwan observed the gate every night at the university. This intermedia and its important facilities contained Chinese and Islamic influences and traditional elements together. 